Hello Doom fans and welcome to PJ Plays Doom, I'm Peter Hawes and in today's episode I return to Ultimate Doom with episode 2 Mission 8, Tower of Babel, Babel? Babel. Uh, picking up both items, killing a cyber demon and sustaining no damage whatsoever. It's an easy map for no damage completion, scoring just one star on my 5 star difficulty scale. So I have done an extra special bonus challenge later in a video, and I will be rounding up episode 2 for no damage completion play, as I reach the halfway mark of Ultimate Doom. So let's start the action. So the four switches give us access to these small anti-rooms. There's the first item, the first supercharge, and the second one. So I've got all of the items already. And uh, the one monster is... oh yes, there he is, the cyber demon of course. Oh, I, I do remember the days when that roar of the cyber demon was very, very scary indeed. Uh, when we first... Uh, heard it. I mean, let, let me know in the comments how scary you used to find a cyber demon. I get this level seems so easy to me now. So, just to make this first demo a little bit slower, so I had a bit more time to talk really, I decided to kill the lost souls first. Uh, because I think they should count as monsters too. You know, even though they are just flaming heads. We could do hurt if they hit you, so why not? For some reason they don't count towards official monsters. Hey, you got in the way! Whatever happened to ladies first? Don't know about you, but I believe in good old fashioned manners. I'm trying to clear the lost souls before I take on the boss. It can take uh, a very variable number of rockets to kill the cyber demon. Speedrunners know all about this when they're trying to defeat this level very quickly. It matters to you, you really want to kill the cyber demon in fewer than 40 rockets in those cases. Of course I'm not bucket, I'm not speedrunning in this demo, but in the next one I am. So guys, if you haven't already seen it in a video title, you probably have done, I will be setting a world record on Nightmare plus reality plus items in a second demo. Just because that was the only way I could make this level a challenge. Um, there's plenty of space to dodge, as long as I don't get too close to the walls I won't suffer any splash damage. And in fact because the cyber demon doesn't suffer splash damage himself, it takes more ammo to kill him than you might expect given that he has 4,000 hit points of health. He's extremely powerful. But on his own, in this environment, not much of a threat. But like I say, do let me know in the comments guys how scary you used to find this, because I, I remember this was very scary for me back in the day. So I'm just about to run out of ammo, I'm going to have to get some more rockets from one of the small rooms. Yes, I have run out. I was just hoping that last rocket might kill him. But now I managed to nimbly fetch the ammo and continue pumping him with rockets. And that's job done guys. Tower of Babel finished and it's not too difficult at all. So here is the Nightmare Speedrun. And just to give you a bit of background on this guys, I spent a couple of evenings on this challenge and it got very frustrating indeed because it's heavy with RNG. You want to kill the Cyber Demon quickly and as I've already said the number of rockets needed to kill him varies quite a lot. But this time, no gentlemanly conduct from me, no ladies first. I'm just going for the cyber demon, just trying to kill him and finish him up as quickly as possible. So this is Nightmare Speed, technically it's the NM Speed category, plus reality, plus items for this world record run I'm setting. Because I'm not sure anyone else has bothered doing it. Um, 
I initially did it in about one minute. Uh, then I got it down to about 50 odd seconds. Uh, but how quick did I actually end up getting my time? Let's find out. Oh, slight struggle flicking that force switch. I just fire gear to stun the lost soul and activate the cyber demon. And hopefully that gets him into a good position. Both items are picked up. And the Cyber Demon is killing the Lost Souls for me. That's brilliant. That's very really lucky. I had to go past the pillar, unfortunately. So now I just keep pumping in with rockets. Dodging and firing, dodging and firing. It's very straightforward, but I'm aware that this is a good run and I don't want to waste it. And I just need to keep going backwards and forwards. Oh no, the pillar's getting in the way. I had to go past. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I must have lost a few seconds on that. But the time is 48 seconds. And that's the world record. And that is the best I managed in a good few hours of attempting this. I am proud of that time, folks. But there was a 43 second run where I just got slightly injured. Many attempts ended because Lost Souls hit me. Also, the Cyber Demon would sometimes wander the wrong way instead of being nearby when I pick up the second supercharge. One advantage to Nightmare is that the Cyber Demon tends to stand still and fire constantly, which is predictable. I won't often do Nightmare Reality Play, I only did it on this map because it is so small and straightforward scoring one star on my five star difficulty scale. There's a cyber demon, some walls you need to avoid because of the splash damage, and beware of the girls flying around because if they get in your face you may hurt yourself with a rocket and that's not fun. So that's just about it for episode 2 mission 8. Let me know guys if you speedrun this challenge yourselves. I'll come up with any other interesting twists to make it difficult. Because it is difficult to make it difficult. It is such an easy level, I can't emphasise it enough. So, time to round up episode 2 for no damage completions. The first map of the episode was the last one I completed, because of this tricky poison near the red door. You have to make several trips through slime, and you can get shot as well. Missions 3, 4 and 5 all require careful use of radiation suits to complete the maps. The final map and secret level are very easy indeed, while Mission 7 and my favourite, Mission 2, each score 2 stars for difficulty. And I enjoyed Berserker only no damage completions on both of these maps. Unfortunately, map 6 is the Spannering Works. I like Sandy Peterson's maps, but why did you have to put a river of poison at the start of Holes of the Damned? Why, Sandy? Why? Seriously, folks. The second episode of Ultimate Doom is easier than the first for no damage completions. How will episodes 3 and 4 stack up for difficulty? Keep watching PJ Plays Doom to find out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, leave a like if you like, and until next time, take care of yourselves and of Doom Guy. Goodbye. Oh.